Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. My name's Neil and it's time for another episode of Would I Lie to You? This is another episode featuring Claudia Winkleman. This one's from series 10, episode 6. And it also features Rod Gilbert, uh, who I do remember from uh, his season of Taskmaster. He ruthlessly went after Greg Davies for that entire series. If I remember correctly, in every opening prize round, he, he presented the same photograph. It was a deeply personal and marginally offensive photo that played in every single episode. It was a good running joke. Anyway, um, yeah, Rod Gilbert, Claudia Winkleman, I don't have too much to say. I'm not sure who the other guests are in this episode, but I am really looking forward to more Claudia. I feel like she's been underutilized so far in her appearances, and I'm hoping we get a good quality story out of her in this particular one. So I'm crossing my fingers for that, and uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. This is episode 6 of series 10 of Would I Lie to You? is on David Mitchell's team tonight. A TV presenter whose nickname at school was Little Winkle. So was mine, but for very different reasons. It's Claudia Winkleman! <laughs> Arguably the funniest man in Wales. Well, I would argue it's Rob Gilbert! She's an actress best known for appearing in EastEnders and Doctor Who. <laughs> Tracy Ann Overman! The star of Made in Chelsea and heir to the McVitie's Biscuit Fortune. Yes, blonde hair and ginger nuts. It's Jamie Lang. <laughs> and we're starting tonight with Claudia. OK, oh, good. good. When I meet someone for the very first time, I automatically make a mental note of what animal I think they are. Once it's in, I never forget it. We met for the first time. Yes. What animal did you choose me to be? Ferret. A ferret. Oh. A ferret. That's a little uh... small, friendly, could pet, not in a weird way. And will you always you. see him as a ferret now? Is that's that how it. That's... Can you do all of us with that system? Uh, of course, beaver. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you a beaver. You're a cat. So I'd love to no, be a cat. No, you're a cat. Oh, I'm so you're glad. You're a cat. Sorry, whoa, 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 beaver. Beavers are awesome. I can see that. Yeah, I, can I can see, see that. that. Beavers have got big teeth and they're like, they're bit. No, you're total. They're hard working. Common cuckoo. Down to earth. <laughs> a, a little oily. Why a cuckoo? Normally I don't think about it. Common cuckoo, owl, puppy. End of. <laughs> <laughs> if this is true, this is awesome. And if it's a lie, it's incredibly well done. Alright, if I'm pushed, red setter. <laughs> Yes. Happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm pleased with Owl. Yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I would love yeah. Owl. I yeah. would have loved Owl. Yeah, but you're, you're nowhere close yeah. to an Owl. Yeah. <laughs> I, if I was going to do it to myself, Camel. <laughs> camel? Why Camel? I'm pure Camel. Maybe 3% Mouse. 3% mouse, 97% camel. There that was go. a hell of a mum and dad relationship. <laughs> I've just done it forever. I think we might have started when we were young and we had a teacher who was a little bit human, but mainly cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, so I would say it's instant with you. you I can tell it's instant. Don't. So without pausing or hesitating, <laughs> tell us all again what we are. OK, oh. easy. Oh. Cat, beaver, ferret, common cuckoo, owl, baby red setter. <laughs> It's got to be true. I think it's not true, but, but there's one bit in it that makes it feel true. The word Claudia. <laughs> it is a lie. Wow. Good for her. She may be the... If, if Bob is the best storyteller, she is the best liar. I once set a sauna on fire. I was in Brazil. Of course. And there's saunas I in was Brazil? in the sauna and I decided to pour vodka. Oh my god. On the rock. But there, I wasn't a minor, I was I was <laughs> eighteen and a half. Isn't eighteen and a half eighteen once you get to be an adult? Well, that... no. <laughs> I was in Cornwall and my friend said to me, if you go and lie in the bath and Did pour I not just hear Brazil it, or did I hear something completely different? In the, in the bath it gets you. Is there drunk. a town in Cornwall that sounds that, like that, Brazil? I, I was told to go in a bath. <laughs> so I was in Brazil travelling. And oh, okay. my friend had a sauna. I was and left with alone. a bottle of vodka, and you thought, if only there was some way I could use this bottle of vodka <laughs> to, to make get me drunk. become drunk. <laughs> yeah. Where were you in Brazil? I was in Rio. Ah, that is oh, in no. Brazil. Yep. Yeah. Tick. Yeah. That checks. That checks. 
So I poured it onto the rocks. It started to flame. So Just I, one shot of it or the whole bottle? The half a bottle. So I, half I, a you bottle of vodka. At 18 and a half, you change the rules. <laughs> so I thought the best option was to pick them up and throw them. The rocks? Yeah, because I what? thought that, yeah. They must be boiling oh up. Well, that's what I found out, obviously. So I try and pick up the rocks to throw them out the door and realise they out were... Out of the door? Yeah, well, because there's a... <laughs> what else is there? Because you read... What's on the other side of the door? The, yeah. the hall? The no, living room? <laughs> what? A lovely balcony. So you want to throw them on the passers-by? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I How thought... can you not know that the rocks are? Are you so posh? Lee, I told are you, you so posh? You don't understand the concept of coal. Have you, have you... I think it's true. Apartment, balcony. He's waiting for everyone to go. Trunks on. Vodka there. Finally, he's everything comes everyone into place. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I'm on your side. Oh, it's it's right. <laughs> it was true. true. I think the 18 and a half sold me on it. Only idiots call themselves 18 and a half. A mistake I made in France meant someone in England got hospitalised. What is the mistake you made in the French language? Yes. It's a simple question, Rob. Yes, but he's still making it up. It's what a simple the... question with a simple answer. Well, yes, it can was. Can you tell Me. us the mistake you yes. made, please? <laughs> the mistake I made got somebody hospitalised. That's the... <laughs> that was the... What was the nature of this mistake? It was a language thing. It was a French-English mix-up. It was a mix-up, a terrible mix-up. I was on the phone to England and I made a mistake with my French-English translation. Who, who received the mistake? Uh, a girl. What was her name? Anne. What colour hair does she have? I don't know. She was on the phone. <laughs> oh, that was Anne's father said, can you speak to Anne? She's in England. We're with... in France. And ask her what's wrong with her. How did you know him? In France. I was in a school. I worked in a school. He was the caretaker. What were you doing in, in school? I was uh, teaching English. She's living in England? Yeah. Now. No, no, she wasn't living. She was on a, a very short exchange. See, she couldn't speak to the family she was with. That's the problem. The How family was you was speaking English. to her going to help that? Well, right, here's the situation. <laughs> Anne could talk to her dad and tell her what was wrong with her in French, but he couldn't say that to the family because they didn't speak French and he didn't speak English. So he didn't even talk both languages. I went to her, I spoke to her in French, and I passed it on to the family in English. What's wrong with that? I passed that on to him in English, and I passed it back to him in French. Everyone's happy. Now, except... she got... Starting to make sense. What did you what did say, Rob? And she said, Jean Jean. And what is that? What does that mean? I got the, the English family on the phone and I said, hey, she's got an angina. Well, angina, I found out later, is a serious heart condition. So right. she was hospitalised. But what, what was wrong Angine with that? is a sore throat. I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> <laughs> they called 999 and, and got her into hospital, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. nurse. <laughs> I believe it because you, you, it's too much to make up on the spot. I don't think Anne is a French name. That's the one bit in it that I don't believe. Sure Anne Marie. Is. is she? <laughs> what an absolutely amazing answer. I don't know. That's one of the funniest things anybody's ever said. It was I so think. torturous getting that story out that it has to be the truth. Yeah. It does. Agreed. Of course, it is true. true. Yeah. It has to be true. Making up on gene equals sore throat, but could be angina. Can't do that off the top of your head. Please welcome this week's special guest, Tony. This is Tony. He's my builder. He drove for over an hour to come to my house to fix my TV. And it turned out all I needed to do was change the batteries in the remote control. I'm leaning towards Claudia right now, but... Claudia? Yes. How what, do you what? know him? He built my house. Got it. Did he put the television in the house? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So he built this from scratch? Well, no, but he did the other stuff. What other stuff? You know. <laughs> 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 no, the painting. Tell me. The television wasn't working. You Correct. thought, I'll call my builder. That's what happened. I thought he would know about things falling off. I've got an unstable roof. You've got an unstable mind. <laughs> 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 the telly didn't work. The little puffin baby, what's his, yeah. What, he wants what, to watch what the do you mean, little puffin baby? What is baby? a puffin? Oh. And stop talking to me. I thought you said that you wanted to watch the telly. I did. But then what, the is, what is Puffin doing? I only want to watch what he wants Who to watch. Who in the love of <laughs> God is the Puffin? <laughs> she said, I wanted to help out the little Puffin. And instead of going, what's the Puffin going to do with it? You went, well, hang on. Who wanted to watch the telly? You or the Puffin? <laughs> so, anyway, so, no, no, no. And Tony she thinks went, of her baby no as a Puffin. Tell us what the Puffin is <laughs> doing in the house and I'm not moving on. He's called Arthur, but... Who's Arthur? Your child! Your son! That's all I wanted! Did you go to the Rob Gilbert School of Explanation? <laughs> <laughs> and I say something must have fallen off the roof, Tony. But didn't you see that little red light in the bottom right-hand corner that wasn't green? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Did, he fix Did he charge you? No. 
He's not a builder. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are. Okay, so Rod. Sorry, reminded of your fact. I can't even remember his name. <laughs> Thing. Right, this is Tony. Uh, we played in a band together. Oh, we yes. both played guitar, but his only ears was plugged in because okay. I can't play. So no. You can't play. What was the band called? Uh, Muck Spreader. <laughs> <laughs> Muck Spreader. Why were you part of the band then? If you couldn't play um, and you weren't singing? Because. Tony was the lead yeah. and, and why as you see him now, that's why the kind of charisma he brought to the stage. Yeah, why? We're not doubting that. <laughs> what we're doubting is the fact that he thought you could help that situation. Right. <laughs> what kind of music didn't you play? <laughs> uh, well, well the band was a sort of punky, rocky sort can of... You, can uh, you... Punky, rocky, is that how you introduced it? Johnny <laughs> Rotten. I'm you... the book spreaders! <laughs> can you... <laughs> I am the Antichrist. <laughs> I'm not, I'm a farmer! <laughs> All our songs had the word muck in the title. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we're the muck spreaders. <laughs> muck do about nothing. Uh, oh, you did, muck you did do about nothing. Place as well. This is Tony, and I regularly go round to his house to play with his Lego. <laughs> He's got a lot of Lego. How often do you go round to his house and play with Lego? Uh, once every two or three weeks. How long is a session? A uh, two or three hours. And do you freeform, or have you got a kit that you follow the instructions? We're building a castle. Is it an exact replica of your house, or is <laughs> it... Uh... It's supposed to look like the Tower of London. So, so how big is it going to end up being? It's obviously big, isn't it? The same well, we've, time. We've, we've, what we've largely done is completed the, the, the White Tower, and, what... and now we're trying to work out the, you know, the footprint of the curtain wall. I'm so quick hopeless. question, quick question. Are you still married? <laughs> <laughs> I know him uh, because I made a documentary called The Pursuit of Youth. Uh, it was about people who are into, you know, childish, childish things as, as adults. I actually believe it. Has Tony got a wife? I can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the person who started Lego? I don't know. Nor do I, so... <laughs> I see a flaw in your questioning technique. I, they're all strangely buyable, but at least, I, I, I least buy Rod. I could see Claudia completely being a ditz and not not figuring out the batteries in the remote. Now, what about Claudia? I think, I think you're, you're, you're wise, you're, you're clever. You would have thought this through. No, I think, I think... So who do you think it is, Jamie, if you don't think it's uh, Claudia? I mean, I do think it's Claudia, maybe. I, th I, I, <laughs> now it's just... I think it's Rod. Oh. You're wrong. Oh, well, in that case... No, no, no. I want it to be David. I, I want think it to it's be Claudia. David. I'm it's going David. with Rod. No. <laughs> She's um, in the documentary, David. David. I'm with David. Uh, my name is Tony, and I drove to Claudia's to fix her. Oh, it is Claudia. <laughs> oh. oh, hilarious. I can't wear normal gloves <laughs> because I have an unusual hand. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the two hands is unusual? <laughs> that one. I'll show you some of it. <laughs> <laughs> is it all gloves or is it just certain gloves? Because <laughs> they're all mittens. Yes. And they're called mittens. Yeah, yeah but that's still a glove. That's no, it's it. not. It is. A, a mittens a glove. No, it's no, not. It, isn't. it is. You're both saying like two people who aren't quite sure of the real answer. <laughs> You're absolutely. I could wear mittens, but I can't wear gloves. Have you got webbed hands? Yes, I've got web fingers. <laughs> Is this you? why you couldn't play the guitar in Muck Spreader? <laughs> Are you going to draw around your hand? He's drawing round his fingers. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so only one web on one hand. I've oh, known you yeah. for 15 years. You'd have noticed if I had a complete flipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I weirdly think it's the truth. Why? Well, I feel no. like it was a very good drawing. You think that that... <laughs> <laughs> It's a lie. It's a lie. So your advice is, I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe a lie, and <laughs> ignore, ignore me. me. <laughs> I've, re I've really got the winning team this week, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. David's team have won by four points to one. That is fascinating. Thank you for watching. Good night. OK, so... So Rod Gilbert is a physical freak, and Claudia Winkleman is an incredibly good liar. I I totally bought her animal people comparison story, and she told it so convincingly um, that really there was no doubt. Like everyone was just like, "Yeah, that's got to be the truth." She just 
you're a ferret, you're an owl, you're a beaver, cuckoo. Um, just awesome. Like, really, really cool. Uh, good for her. Uh, yeah, this was a fun episode. It was just like, some really good storytelling, some fun, fun, fun contestants. And I'm, I'm looking forward to more. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Stay healthy. You know, we'll see you soon. Cheers.